Hello and welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fonwell Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we are going to be talking about what is the sickness or what is the problem of fishes who have swollen stomach after feeding. Don't go anywhere. This is something that may help you to understand how and what to do when you see this. Now, remember, if you are having any issue in your farm, all you need to do is to do a video of this problem and send it to me on 081-353-48909. When I look at this problem, I would be able to help you solve this problem free of charge. Remember, I'm not going to come to your WhatsApp to ask you to pay any money to join any of my group. Everything I do here is for you and it's free. Don't forget, like, comment, share my videos so that others can actually see and benefit from here. I will be right back to discuss this. Welcome back. So, you may have noticed that when your fishes are small, when you stock them from juvenile fingerlings, as they are growing one month, two months, three months, yeah, this is the time you see this. From four months, you hardly see fishes behave like this. So, you notice that after eating, some of them have this big swollen stomach. Even this swollen stomach sometimes comes to like maybe their mouth is protruding right and sometimes you see these fishes standing and like shaking you know trying to like wiggle their tail front and back now the situation about this is that most people that um has fish will always tell you that once this happens it means that you have overfed your fishes and uh they will start dying and you know, an irony of events is that when you hear this and it happens in your farm, most of the times your fishes actually start to die. So it's not like, oh, this thing that they are saying, it seems to be true. So that's why you, you see people coming up with this idea of, hey, don't overfeed your fishes. And it makes many people to starve their fishes. So what it simply means is that in trying to do the right thing, you end up doing the wrong thing. Like, I'm always a firm believer on when people tell me not to do some things, I try to find out why, you know, you, you, you don't lead yourself. A blind man cannot lead a blind man. It's easier for a deaf and dumb man to lead a blind man so they can see and, you know, do whatever they want to do. But blind leading blind is not always good. So I always encourage people, try and ask questions when issues like this come up. Now, what does this mean? When you feed your fishes and they eat very well, at this particular age, you will likely see some of them doing that. You may be wondering why. The reason why they are doing it is that fishes, they have very slow digestive system. Now, when they have eaten very, very well and they are very satisfied, they go sometimes to the surroundings of the pond to hang yourself, move their tail, just wiggle and try to wait for digestion to take place. Because this food they ate is big in them. So just playing off, shaking it off for digestion to take place. Once they are, everything is digested, they start flowing up and down. The question man is, does it actually kill your fishes or is it negative? No, it's not. This is where people get it wrong. It's not negative. It simply means that you fed your catfishes very well. And that's why they are behaving like that. Does it kill your fishes? No. What kills your fishes is contamination. This is the main thing that kills your fishes. Now, you may think that because that happens that your fishes die at that time, that that's what killed them. No. And like I said, contamination kill your fishes. But at the end of the day, sometimes when some farmers want to feed their fishes, they don't have patience. So all they do is to pour feed in the pond. And when you pour feed in the pond, this thing soaks in the pond. So when they soak in the pond, now, like I've said this thing many times, the feed has components used in manufacturing it. So they bring out things like mineral oil, that soak the pond. Now, when this thing soak the pond, 
they reduce the oxygen composition of the water in this pond and because the oxygen level is reduced is compromised these fishes die so this is exactly what kills the fishes it's not necessarily that you fed them very well that that is why they are dying no it's not but because like i said when something happens sometimes and there is a result at the end of the day you now try to start imagining that this may be what led to this but it is a foul cry now if you are a new farmer and you want to start farming business, catfish farming business the first thing you have to understand is that this business is a business that needs you to have patience you can never run on catfish farming once you run there's going to be mistakes if you rush their feeding there's going to be mistake feeding sizes you are rushing you don't have money but you want to give them higher feed size to reduce money what you now do is that many will have stunted growth so each rushing there's a mistake if you want to feed your fishes, you rush and pour feed and go. The excess feed you pour in this pond will always go to choke out the fishes and some of them will die of contamination, you see? So each time you are trying to run, there is always a mistake that kills your fishes. Now, like I said, if you feed your catfishes well and they react like this, they are very, very okay. It means you fed them well. So you may be wondering, why is it that from four months, five months, these things don't happen. Very simple. At that age, your catfishes start gaining a lot of weight that they don't actually stay on top of the water most times. So if you're a catfish farmer, you should have observed that at that age, you hardly see your fishes on top of the water, except when they want to come and eat food. Or maybe some of them just play and come out and you see them. Most times, they are under the water simply because... The body weight as at that time is now getting bigger for them to keep dragging to go up the pond. Now, if they eat very well, they go down the pond and lie their stomach on the floor of the pond for that digestion to take place. But when they were much younger, from that juvenile size, one month, two months, they can still carry their self. That is when you come to your pond every night, you see fishes doing spring ball, so they can carry themselves, they can throw themselves up and down. So it, it, in human being, it is called youthful exorbitance. That is when you try to display yourself, you have the energy to do that. But you see, when a man starts getting older, those youthful things that you did, you can no longer do it. So same thing in catfish farming, at that younger age, you know, they have the strength to do a lot of things. So when they eat very well, they try to show you that, oh, we are too okay. They now, you see them, they move. Sometimes you see them as they are hanging on the water, they just shake their tail a little. They move, they go to one corner, they do the same thing. It just, they are just playing as digestion is going on. But then when they start getting more matured, they can't do this because the body weight mass is now bigger than what they can carry to stand in the pond if you see any big fish standing in the pond most times those fishes are sick and are about to die so they are already losing gravity they can't swim the way they are swimming they, are, they can't even control themselves so you see them floating sometimes you see them floating backwards which means that they already have an infection that they cannot control you know but if they can control it, you can't see any of your big catfishes doing that. No, they will always stay inside the pond. So that's why if you think of it now, you will understand that you don't see the big ones, but you see the small ones. And this is the real reason. It's not because you have overfed them. If you can't ask yourself, why are you not overfeeding the big ones? Because you can't overfeed a catfish. If you push food and they don't want to eat it, they will not eat it. And if they mistakenly eat so much that they are so much overfed because the food you are giving them is too sweet, you will see them hanging, playing. But then if, if you go and disturb the pond and because the thing is excess too much for them, they will vomit it. So either way, you can't overfeed them. So that's why you see them floating like that. And if you are doing it and achieving such results, it is very good because when you watch the growth of those particular fishes that are always well fed, you will be amazed at what will come at the end of it. 
So I don't know maybe if I've said something that to you looks like Greek language or looks very alien to you. You can use the comment section. And if you're having any problem in your farm, just do a video of this problem and send to 081-353-48909. Put a voice note for me to be able to know exactly what it is and I will solve it for you. Remember, the services are absolutely free. Until I come your way next time, I am... The Melifon Well Ogre of Leros Farm. Keep farming, it's a way of life.